So in all of the boarding houses, they've all got their little downsides. They've all got their good sides as well. The uh, previous owner's son um, was living at the boarding house as well and the, before it was sold and he was very much a marijuana addict and um, even though I was the official caretaker, he was the uh, owner's son and uh, he was literally demanding that I give him all of the rent money. The deal was that I put the rent money in the bank for the owner, his mother, who was up in North Queensland helping her sister with a boarding house up there. Yeah. And he was uh, very often on the phone yelling at his mother to ring me up and get me to give him all the rent money. Oh, oh. And, the, and the abuse that he was yelling out at his mother would really uh, turn the uh, paint on the wall over there grey. Oh, yeah, oh. it was. He was calling his mother all the foul names under the sun. Eventually, she got sick of it and she came down to Sydney and he ended up putting his uh, fist through the uh, door, of the uh, glass door of his room. Um, but ironic, and he talked his mother into selling the place. Yeah, what I would really like is to get into a place with my own bathroom. Uh, it is a bit of a luxury having your own bathroom and uh, toilet and that because as we get older you never know when, you know. I did actually go into the uh, housing commission place there. I did ask about a, um, getting into a housing commission house or flat. And when they told me it was 15 years, that was five years ago, I said to myself, 70, 70, by 70 I could be wanting to go into a nursing home. <laughs> yeah.